Hi, I'm Dr. Brian LaPointe, research professor with Florida Atlantic University's Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute. I've spent decades studying water quality throughout Florida, including nutrient pollution and harmful algal blooms. This project with the Florida Chamber allows me and my colleagues an opportunity to share this research so the public can better understand how human activities are impacting Florida's water resources. <music> This county and all throughout Central Florida, there was a uh, huge gr uh, growth spurt in the 70s and the 80s, and by the mid-1980s, uh, we were already beginning to see significant uh, water quality declines throughout the lagoon. If you fast forward to where we are today with between a uh, quarter million and 600,000 septic tanks uh, up and down the Indian River Lagoon, you, you see that the, the issue has just exploded in recent years. Up and down the Indian River Lagoon Basin, you have an old network of agricultural canals that's slowly transforming to suburbia. And as that occurs, a lot of those new homes are sitting in this, this network of ag canals that form literally like a, a street grid of waterways, which eventually discharge to the Indian River Lagoon. So in the Indian River, what we're seeing is a nutrient load problem, um, an overwhelming quantity of nutrients moving into the Indian River Lagoon, which has resulted in eutrophication, which has resulted, uh, you know, as a consequence of algae growth, and some of that algae has become toxic, both to people and animals. Now the natural water tables here in Port St. Lucie uh, are uniformly high, and as a result of that, septic systems are really not a good fit. Septic tanks are not designed to keep pollutants out of pristine water bodies like the Indian River Lagoon. The agencies need to identify the areas where septic tanks are causing pollution to the lagoon. We need to focus our efforts on conversion of those areas into advanced wastewater treatment. It's another problem of, of inadequate infrastructure that we've created. Um, it was based on an ag economy and we've changed it now to a suburban urban economy up and down that whole basin. And it just can't take that load anymore without properly treating it in a, in a more centralized system. You have to pay to have a clean Indian River. And that fact is just beginning to resonate. And again, it's changed. Why, why, why? And you have to have good science to explain the whys. The one common denominator we know we all have is that we have old septic tanks that line the Indian River Lagoon from here in Martin County all the way up to Volusia. We already know, because we've done other neighborhoods, it's doable, and once it's done, everybody says, why didn't we do this years ago? Mm -hmm. 